Hey everyone, how are y'all doing today? My name is Jacob. Today we're gonna to be checking out some really, really cool iPhone photo editing apps that I found over the past year or so. And there are some really cool apps out there that we're gonna check out. So let's go straight into it. So first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a picture that we're going to want to edit, obviously. And this is the picture right here. This is just a picture of my cat. And this is, also, this is already a really, really good picture um, by itself. Just the iPhone's camera quality is really good. This is a portrait mode picture. So first off, what I like to do is I like to edit the portrait mode and see which portrait mode I like the most. So we have this natural light, the studio light, contour light, and then we have the both stage lights. And for this picture, stage light isn't gonna work that well. So we're gonna go with, let's go with contour light for this one because I'm gonna be looking for a little bit more of a darker look for this picture. More of a rainy day, pretty dark look. I'm gonna try to go a little bit dramatic with this picture. So that's what I'm gonna do. So the second thing that I do is obviously I need to crop this picture because there's some stuff in there that's not relative to the scene. And um, I just, I'm gonna crop it. So you don't really need an extra app for cropping. On the side on an iPhone, you can just crop it to any of these dimensions. Normally a 16 by nine aspect ratio is a good one, but you can do whatever you want. So I'm gonna crop it just a little bit more maybe. I kind of want to get, maybe that. Maybe that's a good, that, that that's kind of good right there. So uh, obviously the subject of this picture is the cat. From now, you can go into editing the picture, the lighting, the color and stuff like that. But for this picture, I want to, If as you can see, there's some pine straw pieces out here that I'm not really liking in this picture. I want it to not obstruct this as much. And also, I just want to show you this app, how to get this stuff out of the way. Now, um, I'm also going to remove this stick on the side. I don't really like that stick that much. So it's called retouch. And basically what it does is you can remove objects and tons of things from pictures. It's crazy what this thing can do. So I'm going to select my picture and then in this app you can remove basically everything. I'm not, this it does cost, it did cost some money. I think it was maybe four or five dollars, maybe a little bit less than that. I don't really remember, but it is worth it. This app is crazy. The developers of this app, you did an amazing job with this. This is such a cool app and it works perfectly. So just for a demonstration, let's remove this pine straw right here um, really quick. Might remove some other stuff to show you. So you have this stuff called line removal, quick repair, or object removal. And you can also clone stuff with a stamp. So line removal is really good for power lines. It works really cool. But for this one, since it's not a straight line, I'm gonna do um, object removal. That seems to be the best. If it's something that's really quick, that you can remove, quick removal is also good too. So what you do is we're just gonna highlight the item that we want to remove. And it doesn't have to be exact, like as you can see, I'm my finger is shaking because I'm holding the phone and I'm shaking and it's just na natural shake and it's really farce. Um, so let's see, we got a little bit of a halo right here from it. Um, and that looks pretty, oh wait, no, we have some up here too. It doesn't have to be a perfect science, but we can remove it. And there we go. There's the pine straw. The pine straw is gone from there. And you can do a lot of things with this. So let me let me show you over here. I'm gonna make the size a little bit smaller, maybe. Um, and there we go. That seems to be a little bit better. So we're gonna remove that. And there we go. Works out perfectly. The pine straw is gone. And I also wanna remove this stick. So we'll remove that stick and some more of the pine straw down here. Now we're gonna save the picture as a copy. You can also modify the original, but we're just gonna save it as a copy and open it back up in photos. Just take a look at it. So there is actually an app, I'm gonna leave a link in the description for all these apps, by the way, where you can edit the portrait mode. I'll leave a link down there too. But I like the portrait mode on this. I don't want it to be too blurry or anything. That Th this is good. So normally from here, I actually like to edit the picture within the Photos app. So you can do that for sure. And the Photos app has some crazy editing in it and it works really good. Now, a lot of people don't really know how to edit on the Photos app. So basically what you do is you press edit and then you press this little dial button right here and then you can choose if you wanna edit the light, the color or the black and white. So we're gonna edit the light first and we can press this little menu button right here and bring up all these different things and they work out really, really well. Um, so that, that's also, that's definitely an option. But I also wanted to show you though is this app called InLight and um, it's really, really cool because you can do a lot of artistic stuff with the, this app. Here are some pictures that I've done with them. I really like this one because I have this circle. It's more of an artsy theme. It's not something that obviously I didn't take the picture like this. So you can do a lot of stuff and I'm not gonna go into details about this. There's tons of tutorials about that. But I just wanted to show you what you can do with this app because it's really, really cool. So let's say that we wanna do something artistic. So you can make this into say a painting 
And um, as you see here, there's a lot of different painting things that you can do, that you can choose from. Um, and it's, it's, it's really cool. It's more if you're really into artistic stuff that, that this is cool. So you can even post this like this, but then take it a step further and you can add a mask to it. You can add lighting to it. You can add um, a style. See, there's different styles and you could add a surface to it like a, a canvas surface. But we're gonna take the cat, just, and this is not gonna be perfect, but we're gonna take the cat out of the painting and make it the actual picture. Now we can actually edit the painting from here and have the cat still in there, but we're gonna keep it like this. And let's add a surface to it. So you can add crazy surfaces to make it look really, really, really artistic if you're into that. I kinda like that one right there, that's pretty cool. You're gonna wanna use this stuff sparingly because like it can kinda get annoying if you're posting tons of this, which I used to do. You can add shininess to the canvas. So um, I'm gonna actually bring down the shininess a little bit. This isn't something that I would really post, but I just wanted to show you for the sake of the video what you can do. You can also do some really cool ur urban stuff, like, like that's pretty cool. You could even take the cat out of the picture in this one too. Um, you know, you, you can do whatever you whatever you really want to. And there's a lot of different things that you can do with this app. I definitely consider that you check it out. I really like this. This app is really for artistic stuff. If you want to do some like different types of artistic stuff, this is really good. But what I like to do is I like to just use the Photos app. That is the easiest thing to do. And so I'm gonna edit this picture with the Photos app and show you kind of what I was looking for in this picture. So editing pictures is a lot about the lighting. Like unless the color is horrible, then you want to add some more color to it or take away color. Um, but I'm I, lighting is really important. So I'm going to go into the light really quick. And this is where I do most of my photo editing is in the lighting. So we can remove brilliance from it. And a lot of times you're going to want to add brilliance to make it look more lively and stuff. But like I said, I want this picture to be a little bit more darker. So we're going to go a little bit darker as you can see right here. I'm making this dark mainly because I'm posting it on an Instagram story and today was a rainy day. So, you know, you kind of want to keep a consistency of what's happening. So this is a little bit too crazy, but I just want to show you something that Apple has been really good at and that is filters. So I wanted to make a dramatic look. This is a really, I already like this picture a lot, but I'm gonna do some more editing to it. Whenever editing photos, you have to realize that the warmer side of stuff, which is the red and orange, is more of a happy feel. And the cooler side of stuff, which is the blue, is more of a sadder feel, more of a whatever. So in this dramatic cool, this looks like a winter rainy day. I'm just going to go through and edit this picture. And one thing to keep in mind while you're editing is that you can actually tap your picture and see what it looked like original and what you've edited just to see what's different and maybe something that you want to um, add to it. So let's edit this picture and we'll be back after that. All right, so I'm done editing the picture. Here is the final picture. This is, I really like this picture because it's really dark and it adds more of a um, feeling of just raininess to it. So here's a picture of the sunset and this is really dramatic. I had a lot of color and I also added a lot of darkness. You have to realize that a lot of things with social media are fake, but some are real and I like to post real stuff as well. But this is the original picture right here compared to the edited one. See how I removed all of those branches above in the sky and you can barely tell the only really problem that I had right here was this looks a little bit like a painting, which was kind of cool to, to see, but because this right here was such a long uh, tree that they didn't really have a lot to work with, but they still did a pretty good job with it. Some other things that I like to do, like I said, or just some normal original pictures that haven't been edited as much. And here's one right here. This is our, this is a good picture that hasn't been edited all that much. And you can actually see how much I did edit it. Okay. I did edit it kind of a lot. Um, but, um, I mean, it's not as crazy as some other ones. So I really like that one. That was a good one. I didn't do any retouching to it. This was just the original picture. Here's another picture that I did some crazy editing on. And this right, let's see, this is the original right here. Yeah, that was the original. That was the original. Then I edited it. And then after I edited it, then I removed the, um, the pine straw out of it, which I probably should have removed that pine straw right there. That's kind of just, I think that was part of the pine straw that was across across like her um, chest. So yeah, I just wanted to show you how I edit pictures and how good some of these apps are. 
it blew me away whenever I discovered it. Honestly, you don't need to buy a lot of special apps. The Photos app on iPhone is really, really powerful. You can do some amazing editing on it. But you need to experiment with what you like. Obviously, I like cat pictures, but that's mainly because they're really lazy and they just lay there so I can take pictures of them. Also, you need to remember that black and white makes things look really, really good. I really like black and white, but I don't really use it all that much because it takes out detail of the picture. But also, it looks really good. <laughs> all right, everyone, I'll see you all in the next video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and tell me in the comments below what photo editing apps you use. I know there's a lot more and I would love to discover some more. So yeah. All right, everyone, I will see you in the next video, which I don't know what it'll be about, but it probably won't be about photo editing apps because I never really do that on this channel. So anyways, <laughs> see y'all later. Goodbye.